Did you know there's an island in Virginia so remote they still have English accents? I can still hear it. You, sa you sound like my granddad and my dad back in England. Experience the culture of Tangier Island with us and join us for a week of RV life up. We absolutely love it here, don't we, Judy? We have all these things just for you to borrow. It's so cool. Not rent, not sign out, just the honor system. It's so, such a whole vibe. And downs. I'm nervous that the RV is going to wash away. At one of the best campgrounds we've stayed at while working towards our goal of visiting all 50 states. This is State 27. Is it? Is it? Your birthday? <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> you didn't even know! <laughs> Jonah wanted it to be a surprise his birthday. He wanted to have his own surprise party. And so once he was done with school, he would not let us tell him what the day was or the date. So he had no idea that today was his birthday. Thank you so much. She don't even know what's up there. <laughs> 2,800 V bucks. I can get a skin fat. Go say it. He's A. Are you serious? <laughs> this is gonna have to go to our channel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> love this campground. Crossroad Campground has their own private beach, the perfect place to celebrate Jonah's birthday. Chris and I met working at a camp in Pennsylvania a long time ago. We made friends with a counselor named Dean working there who happens to live close by, so we invited him and his adorable daughter River to join us to celebrate. I think it looks really nice. There you go. You gotta make a wish. Hey, to you. Make a really good wish. Yay. You're so sweet, Jonathan. Well, both of you are. <laughs> so, our good friend Dean from camp has brought us some crab. Yummy? Yeah. <laughs> when you get them, they're like blue. It tastes like oysters. It tastes like oysters? Yeah. The staff at Crossrep gave us an extra special way to end Jonah's birthday. I'll get this. Awesome. Rebecca, the owner of the camp, gave the boys a prize for completing the scavenger hunt. She gave us directions to a fellow camper's cabin that she thought that Chris should meet. This guy's from Tangier Island. Apparently you uh, used to be a native on Tangier Island. And, uh, and then I wanted to hear your accent. My family's from Cornwall. Well, they, so, a lot of them were from there. Okay, too. got you. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like a southern accent. Yeah. I'm going to start the fire. If I, oh, wow. if I already okay. start the fire. Say it again. Terry, Murphy. nice to meet you. My friend Terry, after spending a little bit of time with him, he said, you know, you're of my kin. Here, have one of these. And this is uh, a deviled crab. His family is from Devonshire, part of his heritage, and so is mine. My dad's from Plymouth. Right, you just wrapped it in paper towel. Whack it in the microwave for 30 seconds. It smells really good. Oh god, the whole RV smells. You like it? I think it's great. The mine's there, isn't it? You like it? Oh, it's good. It's like five o'clock in the morning. Woke up the thing banging and crashing on the RV. I saw a turtle swim past me. It's exploding. That's how bad it is. I'm I'm nervous that the RV is gonna wash away. We're here for another four days, and it's supposed to storm every single one except for. One of those days. We're gonna get just hit Tangier Island at this point. My best tip if your RV is flooding or anything's flooding around you is you wanna wear the appropriate clothing. And for Chris, 
It's the tight pants. <laughs> What's wrong with my pants? They're not that tight. And send him when he wears this the Will Ferrell and Jimmy Fallon. They're skit. comfortable. They're very comfortable. Everybody's talking about my tight pants. I'm sick of, I got my I'm sick of getting bit by mosquitoes outside. Tight pants. Finally, it stopped raining. There's a lot of water under the RV and all around the campground. These are the limbs that fell down. We're not wanting the kids in that water. We got a warning from the people that worked at the campground that there could be some extreme weather coming our way and just to prepare for the worst. We're on our way to the movie theater, so we put up our camera and we're hoping for the best. There could be tornadoes, there could be hailstorms. They don't know, they can't predict it apparently. We got done at the movie theater and there's all sorts of warnings or watches and all potential things that could happen like tornadoes, severe thunderstorms, all that fun stuff. So we're at Walmart while Chris is in the car trying to figure out if we should get a hotel or not. on the continental breakfast. What have you had? Half a chocolate buffet. I a pancake with cereal, some oats, well, uh, and What do you have in your hand? Chocolate milk and cereal <laughs> together? <laughs> Right now, without any stops and any traffic, we're gonna get there at 9.41 and about maybe the 10. A little bit of a rush morning. We still have a lot of work to do, so we are trying to scramble because of the big storm and try to get our lives in order and then remember that we booked ferry tickets for this morning. Is it once a day that it departs? From Revo, once a day. Once a day, so if we miss it, we are out of luck. Can't miss that boat back either. No, because... you definitely can't because accommodations are really scarce. This island is really interesting, not just because of the Elizabethan accents that they still have. I guess it's the only place in the United States where they still have some resemblance of an English accent. There's no hospital on the island. There is? I think there's like an infirmary, but not okay. hospital. I just saw a news story that they're starting to get prescriptions via drone because it's a major problem. What? Yeah, it's really interesting. It's very, very huh. remote and very small and there's a lot of challenges and they're losing about 15 feet of shoreline every single year. I connected with a, he's kind of a local celebrity from what I'm gathering. He is a young photographer, videographer that lives on the island and he's been capturing the life there and because this island is slowly disappearing, it's sinking, yeah. he's been capturing pictures and and documenting the whole thing. We're very excited to meet with Cameron, kind of see what life is like, and hopefully track down some people that talk sort of like Chris and Terry, the guy that we met from the campground. The kids? That one. We will need these for the way back, so if y'all could just hold on to them, that'll be perfect. <laughs> Do you know what the grocery store is? Huh? The grocery store? It's all the way up on the uh, right, all the way up here. Big white building with a real tall white front. Gym. Oh, I see it. Thank you. No. 
God. What does this place remind you of? This reminds me of the general store that I used to work at. <laughs> back in Eagle, Michigan. Wacousta, Michigan. <laughs> This morning we packed a bunch of stuff and the kids are just like ravenous and have already ate all of the food supply and we are so nervous because Jonah has celiac and so we didn't think that we would be able to find anything but look how crazy is this? I can hear the Dorset Southern Cornish accent in your voice. How about that? It's really cool. How about that? That's cool. <laughs> it is cool. It makes me feel like homesick. Homesick, yeah, it does. It like, makes me think of my granddad and uh, my dad and like and just hearing the accent. Like, it sounds and, just so, like so, your grandpa. So Dorset. You're from Richmond? England. England. England? Yeah. yeah. London. London? I, I can still hear it. You, so, yeah. you sound like my granddad and my dad back in England. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a guy called Terry that always wears a kilt? Do you know that bloke? Terry? I don't know Terry did. No? He said, his, he, said he grew up on Tangier. I can do it. You know him, man? <laughs> Jules. I wore Jules. Okay. I, I never know his, I don't know his real name because that's all they ever know. I told him when I was around him. <laughs> so Cameron said when you guys are a little bit older, come back and you can be their, his crabbing mates, okay? <laughs> Do you guys want to buy a house here? This house is for sale. It's cute. We should inquire about it. I would make it very like coastal colors like white you know brighten it up a little bit i would raise it another 10 feet off the ground from england oh he knows, he knows. <laughs> you got an english look did you were looking for the mayor yeah. i was just talking to the guys about my fishing and i can just in there i can hear the dialect like the yeah. southern british and that's yeah, where his said, family's oh, from okay yeah they said the folks here they originated from cornwall yep. that area. and that's where his that's dad's, dad's from, from and everybody yeah, yeah i'd love to go there sometime Oh my gosh, look at those chairs, they're so cool. We can play checkers in here too. Santa's been to Tangier Island. <laughs> Do you think so? I am a bit of real Santa, mate. Oh, he looks pretty real to me. That's a fake elf too. Well, that elf definitely fits a kid of an elf. Yeah. There's our guy. We just got back. We could not be any more exhausted. I think a couple takeaways from Tangier Island is if you can stay longer than just the two and a half hours, definitely do so because we just ran out of time. The mayor, Uker, was so kind. He invited <laughs> us to his crab shack. I know. The photographer, Cameron, he said that if we would have stayed, he would have taken the boys out on his boat in the morning. I mean, there's just so much more that I would have liked to have done. You should have done that. You're right. And honestly, I've never been more homesick. Like, it was soothing to hear the accent, but then it made me so homesick. Like, it's overdue for me to go back across the pond. Yeah, it's for been sure. a long time. Definitely, too long. But I think we need to sleep on it because we have to wake up early. We don't have any reservations whatsoever. No. And we need to figure that out because <laughs> those are the, the best morning. days. You just wake up and have no idea what you're doing. We'll see. <laughs>